Right, so good afternoon and a lovely sunny afternoon compared to yesterday. This is a beautiful day. Uh, I'm up here at the old copper mine on the, uh, uh, not the Crom Bay, and the other one on the far side. And I came across this beautiful rock. Look at this red iron oxide. Now, in one of Jeff Williams' videos recently, he's mentioned a, uh, uh, the red is a good uh, good source. If In case you're thinking that's gold, it's not. I'm looking at it in natural light. It's like uh, sulfur, just like the rest of this stuff. It's all kind of sulfur dioxide. But you can see here where they've... Um, Really, really dug out this rock. Uh, beautiful, beautiful lumps of uh, lumps of rock. Very, very nice. So you can see it's a beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful view. Actually, from here you can actually see the other copper mine over the far side, and then uh, you can see the adits down there. See the uh, the tomb there. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another beautiful day in Wicklow. I'm just down at the old uh, copper mine here. You can see just over here. Hard to get the uh, selfie angle. You can see there's a beautiful section of rock here from the old copper mine. It's not the Crombane one, it's the one at the far side. So uh, if you want, I can drop the coordinates in the uh, in the link below. So it's uh, not so much of this gold here. There might well be gold here, but it is just an absolutely beautiful place in terms of uh, in terms of places to dig. If you uh, have a look just over here, you can see all this section of uh, rocks here. So what this looks like is that at some stage you were digging here and uh, just didn't quite finish. You can see where they actually hit the uh, the rest of the rock there and then just didn't quite get to this section over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, if the, at this section here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the banjo pan, I'm gonna dig into that and uh, I have the banjo dry. It's relatively dry rock, so it should be able to run it dry, which is fantastic because I'm not carrying water up here. It's just too far. So uh, yeah, I'll check in with you later and see how we go. Okay, so I started digging out of that contact zone up there, just up this one up here. Bit kind of hard to dig with, and uh, it seems to be a little bit damp, because I don't know, moisture maybe got through. But what I did do instead was just took the trowel and started digging stuff dry into the banjo. That's going to be a bit hard to uh, do this while the, uh, the one hand, basically the idea is you're rocking back and forth, and then, uh, yeah, you can't really do it in one hand, but hey, whatever. You're rocking back and forth, and uh, you'll end up with... Uh, with just the kind of gold concentrates in there. Because it's all dry and the mat is dry and everything, this thing is absolutely incredible. Uh, fair play to whoever designed it. Really, really good. So, um, yeah, you can see further down here, I have this kind of, uh, it's got a really dark rock. Most of this is kind of sulfur and sulfur dioxide. Uh, this particular section was originally mined for copper. Uh, having said that, when exploration companies were up here a few years ago, or up on the other side of the valley, they, uh, Done drilling and found small quantities of gold, not huge, kind of like three, four grams per ton at 1.5 meter strike zone. So not a huge, uh, not a huge amount of, uh, not a huge amount of gold. But having said that, it's uh, a beautiful, beautiful spot, beautiful day, and sure, why not get out and dig? So I'll, uh, I'll work about three or four shovel, there's three or four scoop loads in the distance. We'll, uh, I'll do a bit of a clean out the end, see how you get on. See there. Okay, so I just came further down the valley here and uh, kind of reached pretty much the end of it here. You can see where. Uh, I obviously not going to go too far. There's a bit of a drop off here. You can see just down there. There's loads of uh, loads of lovely uh, loads of lovely outcropping rocks, and uh, this all looks natural as if it wasn't actually mined at all. Uh, over here, and it looks maybe kind of old style mining where they're just kind of picking away at it. Back over here, though, I'll show you in just a second. Back over this way, there's a beautiful spot here where there's some really, really nice, really, really nice work. Unfortunately, certain people seem to treat this place like it's a dump, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, you can see here where they've kind of, where they kind of dug out of uh, a lot of the rocks. These kind of more look like uh, leftover workings. You can see all the uh, all the kind of sulfur dioxide. Now over the far side over here, I'll show you in just a second. Some really, really nice stuff. There's the uh, the kind of stuff I was working. Further, I was kind of working up there. Dug his banjo pan. It does work. The problem is because it was slightly damp and the banjo pan was still a little, a little wet, it kind of got a bit kind of clumpy, so it's hard to kind of clean up. But it did work it, and I'll be able to clean it up when I get home. But I'll just show you the, um, the other spot I have over here. I'm just trying to avoid some of the rubbish. It's an awful shame when people treat places like these like a dump. See all the uh, lovely shears on along here. Really, really well cut into the rock. Really, really nice. You can see what looks like kind of tailings up on top there. So uh, yeah, it's an absolutely gorgeous place. Um, I'll put the coordinates in the bottom of uh, the description, but um, 
if anyone's up here, please uh, don't treat it like a dump like everyone else has. That's an absolute disgrace. There's old bits of bikes here and bits of plastic and rubbish, but uh, yeah, nature deserves respect, so respect nature. Okay, so I'm just about finished up, and just on the way out, I saw the uh, this beautiful old, uh, old tunnel here, this little bridge. Um, the bridge was used originally for bringing the sulfur and the copper down to the port uh, for shipping, uh, but also the sulfur was then brought down to the old uh, chemical factory beside Arklo, beside the Avoca River, where they turned it into explosives and uh, other nice things. So um, yeah, so basically that's the, the uh, that's the kind of trail on the way you'll see on the way in. So um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll put the coordinates at the bottom, and if anyone wants to head up, by all means, it's a lovely spot, lovely day out. Uh, I'm not guaranteed you're going to find any gold, but at the same time, you'll have a lovely day out and a beautiful view, which is what it's all about. Talk to you there.